Once you have finished your grades for the quarter or semester, it is time to run your report. The report will help you check the grades that you're putting on the report card along with the comments. So I'm gonna navigate now to reports and I'm gonna click on individual student report. Um, although it's not an individual student one, it is actually for our whole class. You can put your name and the grading period here instead of just individual report. Um, and then you're gonna select your classes. You can select many classes at once or just one. I'm gonna do one for this example. You don't need to worry about any of these fields here. Uh, the layout, you can leave it by section and by student, last name, however you choose to do that. Um, assignments does not matter because we're not going to be showing the assignments. The important part here is the data. When you do select your data, you need the first three selected only. Assignments, you do not need to include, so I'm going to uncheck that. And category totals, you also do not need to include. You need to have a course grade with attendance, course grade with comments. So we want to be able to read our comments is what this means. And we want to be able to see our standard final grades, which are the reporting categories that go on the report card. Once I have those three checked, you are good to go. Please note, if you have subcategories, they will appear in this report, although they do not appear, appear on the report card. We can look at that with the learning behaviors. I don't need to show the percentage, assignments with no data, or the standard identifier. If you want to leave that on, you can. It's the number that's also in PowerSchool. So the data is the most important part of this. And then the date range, let's make sure that we're in Q1, if it's Q1, S1, if it's S1, and you can select that here. You don't need to have any filter on for the data. Then I'm going to run report. Once this has been added to the queue, usually it will download onto your computer. If it's not automatically downloading onto your computer, you can click view reports and then you can grab the report there. I like to look at the day and the time to make sure it's the most accurate. And even though I put a name, it gave me this individual student report name. Let's take a look at how, how I did here with the report. I'm going to open that up. And now I can see um, the student name, the teacher name, what the quarter grade will be. Remember, on the quarter, students do not see the final grade. During semester one and semester two, they do see the final course grade. Um, and then right below that is your comment. Here are the standard final grades. So responsible learning work habits. This is the grade that will appear in the report card. And then the subsequent subcategories will not. So 1.1 will, and 1.2 will show up on the report card. The other ones will not. So do not worry if you do not have 